good after morning and noon and night. We all hope you had a very Merry Christmas and uh, a Happy New Year once it arrives. As you can probably see today, we have Kim Surprises. And the other good thing we have is a brand new camera right here, as you can probably see. <laughs> um, so you'll probably see a couple of other videos with the poorer quality uploaded simply because that's just... We, we've already filmed uh, a few more videos with the old crappy camera, um, but you should be seeing sort of more of the clear and new ones soon as well. Yes, and we're also getting a new filming space and hopefully some more lighting, so it's all happening. Yes. Anyway, we uh, picked these up. Um, they were clearing them out after Christmas. Uh, they're basically deluxe Kinder Surprises. Um, Kinder Surprise Maxi. Maxi. Um, they had three colours. I don't know if the colours had were any difference. There was a blue, a yellow, and a red. I think this is meant to be gold. Or gold, yellow. With Santa. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, they don't actually say anything what's in them. Of course, the Kinder Surprise chocolate, which is always nice. Which is, uh, for those who haven't had it, milk on the outside, white on the inside. Mm -hmm. And you should have a good rattle with a good toy on the middle. Well, Alright, did you want to open the first one? Sure, let's, so lay, let's lay those, those down. down. I'm going to go with Santa because he's right up front. Yeah. So these are a lot bigger, again, for those who haven't had Kinder Surprises. Uh, a lot bigger than the normal ones. Which yeah, are... I'm not, still not sure if you can actually get them in the US or not. I think they're just sort of starting to maybe be allowed out there. I'm not 100% sure. but Should I get that packaging away? That's the, actually, I was going to leave that there because oh. the chocolate's going to go everywhere. Good idea. So you basically, if you haven't had one, you can split them in two. I'll, I'll just... And inside, you've got a nice big capsule. Mmm. I really like Kinder Surprise chocolate. Yeah, the chocolate is really, really good, as well as the toys. Oh, let's move it out of the way. The toys are generally pretty good, although occasionally you'll get, like, stickers or a jigsaw puzzle. And that's kind of sad when that happens. No kid wants a jigsaw puzzle or stickers. No. They want, like, a little toy you can build. Yeah, exactly. Um, so these ones are obviously a lot bigger. The normal ones are actual egg-sized. Mm, like, you so, know. Mm. Yeah, so you get, like, a tiny little capsule and tiny toy. So these ones are special for Christmas. Ooh, looks like something to build. The, the, the regular ones are about $2, I think. Well, these yeah. full price are about 10 Yeah, I might just need a few minutes to pop this together. Do you want to start opening your egg and I'll put yeah. this to the side? I don't know what it is yet. Let's open Shiny Blue Santa. Shiny Blue Santa. I was going to say, they actually do look maybe... No, I was going to say a little Christmas theme, but I'm wrong. Never mind. So, eggy. Let's uh, pop it open, hopefully without it exploding everywhere or melting. Wow, this looks really elaborate, can I just say? Better test some more chocolate. Mm. Well, I haven't tested any of that yet. Gee. Alright, move that out of the way. What have we got in our big one here? I don't know. What have you got? Mine's already built. Oh, that's I lucky. Think. Oh, I know. It's like snowballing. Hang on, let me let me just move these out of the way. You knocked out the camera there too. So you've got this. Yep. Three scores: ten, twenty, and thirty. Then we have our little penguin, who's actually on like a oh, it's like a gyroscope or something. That's so kind of cool. So you always sort you roll him. He always sort of stays upwards, upright. Whoa. Now, according to this, the instructions. What we have here is some sort of... Do you remember that game Elf Bowling? The Flash game that was like 15 years ago. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So you got a little penguin and you're rolling towards some Christmas trees and you get points. It's actually a really nice toy. It's really solid. Like, you, you wouldn't break that by dropping it or anything. It's kind of a pity, I guess, that the... Like trees you bowl over are just flimsy cardboard, so you could easily end up kind of breaking those, which is a bit sad. But I suppose you could put anything up in place of them, you know, textures or figurines or something. That's that is true. You're almost done there. Well, yes, I am. Sorry, it's actually like really elaborate kind of toy. Um, so you're not even going to be able to see it. Oh. Let's just go back. You can still see our reindeers in the background on the wall. It's actually really tall, as you can see. I mean, if you just stand it up next to this egg, look how big that is. And, whoa. It's basically like a, you know, one of those strength kind of skill testers. See so. how high you can flip your elephant. 
and there's little like notches which I believe they get caught on. Yeah, it does. So you can actually see like your score kind of thing. Woo! Wow, good job. It's actually really nice. They are quite solid. They click in really well when you build the bits together. Um, yeah, I really like that. That's pretty cool. And you obviously can get a lot of um, kind of carnival themed ones. So if you have a look at the page here. Obviously, I've got the... Bumper cars and everything. Yeah, you've got the um, penguin bowling. So they are Christmas themed, look. It's got to be... So they're special it's, ones because uh, of the different size. They it, couldn't put their normal toys it's, in it's them. It's probably perhaps more like a winter edition than a like Christmas. Yeah. But it's still very cool. Yeah, really, really nice. So let's have a look at that third All one. Right, you and I'm going to have it? some of that chocolate. Because it is Sample really good is. chocolate. Ugh. Oh, beautiful. Let's hope we don't get a double. Oh, that'd be awful. Right. I'm hoping for... Mm, bumper car. Yeah, I think the bumper car is probably the best one, not the uh -oh. there, hippo. We didn't. We oh. did. Double the fun. That's so disappointing. Oh well. Oh well. I guess we'll miss out on the little turtle teacup and... I don't know what Kinder Egg guy's doing, unwrapping a present. Bumper car, like a crocodile guy doing something. Oh well, so we saw two of the different ones then. And we had some really nice chocolate. It is pretty delicious chocolate. Oops, I should probably hold that down when you flip that. Otherwise it'll go flying into your face probably. Yeah, my other hand sort of wrapped yeah, down the side of the see. camera. Why are you trying to build that one? It's oh, the same I thing. I didn't build it right either. I didn't put that on and oh. it did, this one's out of order. Gee, no wonder I had to build it. Out of order. So yeah, um, if you can get the set, I think they'd be pretty cool little... Set. Yeah, they are really nice. So if you see these floating around in your sort of after Christmas sales, I'd pick them up because we paid, what, $3, $3.50 Australian dollars for them? Half price, whatever they were, and they are about 8 to 10 Yeah, I so I think they were about three fifty when I saw mm. them. Um, so they're actually, yeah, really good for the price. And of course you get a lot of delicious, delicious chocolate. 100 grand, which is a massive amount of Kinder Surprise chocolate. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video or any of our others, you can hit uh, subscribe or thumbs up below or leave us a comment if you'd like. And we've got at least one video every week, probably a little bit more often now, after, now that it's after Christmas, with board game reviews, blind bags, and unboxings. Ta-da! Bye!